I got inspired to make this chair by a guy named Natsuki Ishitani from Ishitani Furniture on YouTube. I-S-H-I-T-A-N-I -I Furniture. If you don't know about them, go check them out. They make beautiful furniture and produce awesome videos.
You just totally blew it and drilled it upside down, didn't you? <laughs> Okay, so I made this very high quality model to demonstrate how I just screwed the pooch. I spent all this time putting these lovely bow ties in the top of the seat, and as I drilled the angles, what I did was from the top I drilled the angle like this, so that if I want my legs to splay out the right way, those bow ties would be on the bottom. Real bummer. So what I did to patch that misstep is I turned a bunch of plugs, plugged the holes, and went about drilling correctly. Now, again, this is a learning process for me. I knew there was going to be missteps along the way. As I'm drilling those holes, the initial holes I drill, I'm sorry, re-drilled, the initial holes I re-drilled followed this angle. Right? Now, what I really no, I think they actually might have followed an angle more like this. And after I drilled them and looked, I said, "Man, that chair is gonna fall from side to side. Cause there's just not a lot of stability with angles like so." So I believe I did this to all of them. So I replugged them. I think I left these back ones at this angle. Let's label this back and this front. Oh, that's a backwards F. Whatever. I re-plugged the front for a second time and drilled the angle more at an angle like this, giving a lot more stability to the base, a lot more width to the base, so there wouldn't be that side-to-side -side rocking ability. <sighs> After about at least one replug on every one, and I believe two replugs on the front. I finally got to angles I wanted and was able to continue with moving forward rather than just getting a loop of plugging and drilling, plugging and drilling, plugging and drilling holes. Alright, let's get back at it. DJ, two, three, four. If you can't tell by now, I have no formal training. This is a learning process for me. Oh. Mistakes are a part of learning. What was that? What was that? No! <laughs> <sighs> Thank you.
You're about to blow it again. Rude. When was the last time you uploaded all the data off that card? Oh shit. Appreciate y'all sticking with me at this point. I learned a ton on this project, and I knew I would. I also made a bunch of mistakes, but that's a huge part of the learning process. And while when I look at this chair, I see tons of mistakes, I also see a huge leap into learning. Because it's through those mistakes that I learn, and everyone does. They're frustrating, of course. But I also know that if I'm messing up, I'm learning how to avoid that land by the future. So if you learned something too, throw me a like, maybe a subscribe. If not, see you next time.